Hey guys, B-Man here. How are you guys doing today? Today, we've got an awesome one for you guys, for you ranked play players. As you see right here, we're in ranked play, Warzone ranked play, where thermal optics are banned and they do not work in game. Well, they do for us. <laughs> I got you guys. We've got an awesome glitch to be able to get working thermal optics in ranked play so that when those people are using those smokes <laughs> you'll just be able to snipe them clean straight out of that smoke it's broken guys so get in there and get yourself that sniper with the thermal optics just like this guys it's awesome and it's working in ranked play so with that said guys let's just get straight in we'll have a short video straight in on how to do this guys it's going to be focusing just on the thermal optics and getting them into warzone you can get redacted guns with thermal optics as you see here and much more but i've got other videos on all of that and i've got lots of videos teaching all the methods on how to stack attachments and stuff so this one is not going to be focusing on all of that stuff it's just going to focus on how to get the thermal optics in so as you see right here these guns do not have any optic equipped onto them but they have the thermal optics in game we'll get in and we'll show you guys exactly how we've got that so before we do that get down there smash that like button Okay guys, I'm going to teach you how to do the thermal optic on this Victus XMR. You can do this on other other weapons. This is really, this really is pay to win because you have to actually own blueprints to be able to do this, okay? So this one is 100% pay to win because it will help you win in ranked. With that said, this is how you do it. You need to own a blueprint that has the thermal scope or well with ranked play any restricted item that you're trying to bring in the blueprint that you start from has to have that as an item for that blueprint so like you see here we have the victus xmr and this blueprint has thermal identif target identification scope on it right well this is a blueprint we can make one from so you need to own a blueprint that has a thermal scope as a base for that blueprint like this here now once we've got their blueprint equipped now we need to unequip the optic so and not replace that optic with another optic we have to leave that empty that slot empty now if we leave this slot empty and when we stack any other attachment on this weapon here it will then we need to stack two attachments and then what will happen is it will when we get in game the blueprint will bring will get its base attachments added back onto it as bonuses so if you leave this optic empty when you get into game it will actually get its thermal optic scope will show up on it and that's how we're getting it in there because the game doesn't recognize it as us as it being equipped so it actually somehow it puts it on in game and it actually has it fully working so for this in short all you need to do is start with a blueprint that has the thermal scope that you're trying to have in there unequip the thermal scope and then just stack any other attachments on this weapon right so we come along and we can remove this stuff here and say we want to just stack anything so we could stack anything in this case so if it was a barrel or something like that we could just stack it right so for us we might as well go along and we'll stack a grip so we'll come along we put one grip on and then what we do is with our mouse we hold left click let left click go and on our controller we press left trigger to bring up the save option okay now there's many different ways to go about doing this but i'm just going to show you this one mouse method i have many different videos on different ways to be able to do this go and check those out if you don't already know how to stack but if you know how to stack this is all we're doing we're just doing this and we're bringing up the save menu as we stack it just like this we're setting it as a name and we click save we tell it to save and then we equip another another attachment just like this and there you go it's now just stacked those two grips we now have two grips stacked now when we take this in game because it's actually got this blueprint that we've based this off has a thermal optic as its blueprints attachment when we take this in game this all the attachment all the attachments that have uh on this blueprint as a base blueprint will show back up so it'll have a muzzle it'll have its underbarrel its ammunition it will have its thermal scope all working in game now what we can also do is we could go along and then we can add an extra barrel onto this because it didn't this blueprint didn't have a barrel we could add a laser sight onto this and we could add 
a stock onto this, right? I think it already had a stock that blueprint, so we would add a, a guard. Now, if we wanted to get this redacted, we would need to make it add up to having a total of eight slots. So we would have count one for the optic, and if it was a stock, that would be two, three. This stacked still only counts as one, even though we stacked two in it. We only actually stacked it into one slot. It's only one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And if we just use eight slots like that, this gun would be a red labeled redacted gun. Okay, guys, but that's getting sidetracked. All you need to know is select a blueprint that has a uh, thermal optic as the site. Once you've done that, all you need to do is stack any other blueprint and leave that optic empty and then when you get in dame it will have the thermal optic in rank play guys so with that said you now can create redacted guns in rank play with thermal optics and go and destroy the lobbies as people think they're safe using those smokes to be because they're not expecting it so this is going to be absolutely broken for a few days until people actually realize that this can be done so with that said get down there smash that like button for me subscribe if you're not already leave me an awesome comment and keep being awesome Thank you guys for watching my videos, and I'll catch you in the next one. Be man.